guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive week. And today's question of the week comes from Jackson and Jackson asks the following. Hi Jess, I have so much to study for school and there isn't enough time to learn everything. How do you become a quick, emphasis on quick, learner? Thanks so much, Jackson. Jackson, great question. So being a quick learner involves doing a couple of things and doing these things very regularly. So first off, make sure that you're doing all of your weekly readings before you attend class or your lectures. It's really important that you've already established some familiarity around the information that your teacher or lecturer will be covering. So you're not learning it for the very first time, but rather you'll be able to use this time more wisely by being able to ask questions, really consolidate your learning and get a better understanding of the topic at hand. Now, one thing I have to emphasize here is it's not just about learning the information by doing your readings, taking notes and listening to your lecturers or teachers. Now, apart from coming to class prepared and also participating in class to really grasp that information, it's really important to also figure out your learning style. So everyone learns best differently and it's up to you to work out what sort of techniques work well for you. Now personally, I am a big fan of making mind maps and using visual techniques to put all of the information into perspective and make it meaningful to me. But you might find that you learn better through auditory methods or kinesthetic methods or reading and writing the information as well. So have a think about what sort of methods really work for you or what's worked in the past, what hasn't worked in the past, and do those methods differ depending on the type of information you're trying to learn as well. Figuring out what kind of study technique to use when trying to learn information is really important if you want to grasp it quickly and be a fast learner. Also, if you haven't checked out one of my previous questions of the week videos, I did cover the four learning styles and give a few examples. So I will link that down below and I'll also make it into a card that is clickable up there so you can check it out too. So a very big thank you to Jackson for sending in this week's question of the week and make sure to leave all of your study questions in the comment box below and I just might choose yours for next week's question of the week. Also click the cards up there to check out some previous videos and you can check out my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide. I'll leave a link to where you can order it in the description box below, but it's also available in leading book retailers too. Have a very happy and productive week guys and I will see you very soon. Bye.